How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to increase your bench press. So right now I'm going to go over some information that you guys probably haven't heard of, maybe some of you have, and then after that I'm going to go into how to actually increase your bench press. Guarantee it doesn't matter what your bench press number is, 135, 155, 190, 250, 290, 310, I can increase your bench press, guarantee fucking tea. So to start off, here is my blender, you guys. This thing probably weighs three to four pounds. Now, how long do you guys think that I can hold this if it's all the way from my body? Maybe four to five minutes, if that, maybe maybe uh, not very long at all. Now, how long do you think I can hold it if it's right next to my body? Probably very long, you guys. Way longer than what I could hold it if it's all the way from my body. Now, what does that have to do with building your bench press. That has everything to do with building your bench press. That is called leverage, you guys. Now, leverage is extremely important when you are bench pressing. Right off the bat, you guys need to know if you have good leverages or shit leverages for your bench press. The reason being, if you have good bench press genetics, you can do the bench press more frequently and you guys will see faster progress. If you guys have shit bench genetics, your prog progress will take a little bit longer and uh, you can still get a good bench press, but it probably won't be as good as if someone had extremely short arms. Again, never say never, but leverages are extremely important for the bench press. Um, with that being said, here is a way to measure if you guys have good leverages or not. All you guys are gonna do is take a tape measure and measure from fingernail to fingernail with your arms all the way across. Now, I did this on a wall just because that tape measure is not long enough for me to hold it straight out. My wingspan for this is 75 inches, which is equivalent to someone who is 6'5", you guys. 6'4", uh, I meant. My arms are extremely fucking long. Um, generally, what you should get for your measurement, um, I'm 5'8". For someone 5'8", 5 times 12 is 60, plus 8 is 68 inches. You should get around a 68 inch wingspan. Maybe 69, um, but maybe one inch over um, right on the dot, or if you have really good bench press genetics at 5'8", it'll be about an inch or two inches less. The lower it is from your actual height, the better it is. So let's say you're six feet. So that six times 12, 72 inches your wingspan should be around 72 inches, you guys. Um, again, if it's 73 inches, that's normal. Um, 71, 70 inches, you have good bench press genetics. You have short fucking arms. So that is a way to tell if you have good or bad bench press genetics. So with that being said, I have horrible bench press genetics, yet I still have developed an over 315 pound bench press, you guys. So I will give you guys some tips um, how you can get a better bench press. Keep this in mind, if your arms aren't as long as mine, they're way shorter than mine, your bench press is gonna be that much better than mine if you train as hard and for as long as I have. So what can you do to increase your bench press? The number one fucking secret that most people fuck up, I would say not 95% of people in the gym fuck this one up the greatest, and that is you're not gaining weight Weight gain is 100% determined um, for increasing your bench press, you guys. If you want a bigger bench press, you have to increase your weight. Some people right now will say, well, there's a 180 pound uh, power lifter. He competes at 180 and uh, his bench press is always increasing year to year, but he stays the exact same weight. Completely wrong. No, he doesn't. And I'm an example of this. If you compete at 180, after you compete, you're going to be about 183, 184. In the off season, you're going to bulk to 195, whatever, and then you're going to cut down the fat and obtain, keep all the muscle. So you're still adding weight, but you're adding muscle. So keep that in mind, you guys. Those power lifters may seem tricky and they may seem they're not gaining any weight. They are, trust me, they're just getting rid of the fat and replacing it with muscle. So you have to gain weight. If you're 130 pounds, 140, 150, watching this video, your bench press is stuck. Gain 10 pounds, I guarantee you, your bench press plateau will be gone day. That goes for anyone out here. If you're benching 300, 350, 275, 295, you're stuck with your bench press. Gain 10 pounds, I 
guarantee you your plateau will be gone day. Guaranteed. Weight gain is extremely important, the number one important fact for building your bench press. That's why so many people in the gym don't get stronger at the bench press because they say they stay the exact same weight day in, week in, month in, year in. It's just the same weight. You can't do that. Got to track your calories, got to gain weight, gain two to three pounds each month. With that being said, what is the number one muscle group for the bench press? So you want to get a better bench press. You're gaining the weight, you're gaining two to three pounds muscle each uh, each month. Now what? What do you do? Everyone says, you know, train your upper back, train your lats, rear delts, leg drive, train those legs, blah, blah, blah. Core. It's all about the core. It's all about breathing, proper technique. How? What is the most important muscle group for the bench press? Yes, proper form and technique is important, but form and technique will only get you so far. You need to build muscle. The number one muscle group, hands down, is your fucking shoulders. Cannot stress that enough. You guys, look at me. My shoulders are fucking capped. They are fucking big, you guys. Um, and again, this lighting is fucking horrible. The fucking sun pouring in. Horrible lighting. My shoulders still look fucking jacked. Uh, the reason being the shoulders are the most important part is because raw power lifters, raw lifters, when they get to the bottom, that's the hardest part. Now, the first foot of the lift when you're on the bottom is going to be shoulders. If your shoulders suck, you're not going to get the weight off. Once you get the, if you notice, you can get the weight to a boat right here and you can lock that fucker out, but you just can't get it off the chest. You have weak shoulders. End of story. Get your shoulders up. Um, look at any, any great bench presser. He will do some overhead shoulder work. The best shoulder movements, seated shoulder press, standing military press, end of story. Those are the best muscle, those are the best exercises for your bench press. So, <clears throat> accessory movements. People will say, what are the best accessory movements? You know, aside from shoulders. So you're going to do, pick one movement for each. So for your shoulders, pick either the standing or seated military press. For your pecs, pick the flat or inclined barbell bench. For your triceps, Pick an overhead tricep movement, either overhead dumbbell extensions or barbell skull crushers, you guys. Pick one of those movements and do them twice a week, five sets of 10 repetitions. Add weight slowly to the bar. Add 2.5 pounds if you can, maybe 5 pounds. Do that. Gain the 2 to 3 pounds of muscle each month. You're, you can only do that by tracking your calories. If you're not tracking your calories, you're failing. You do that, I guarantee your bench press is going to fucking explode. Guaranteed. Because you're building muscle. Some people are probably going to think, you know, to, to build a bench press, you got to train in two, rep, two reps, three reps, four reps, five reps. That's how you build the bench press. You can't flex bone. Strength training when you have no muscle is fucking pointless. First, you build the muscle. High repetitions, high sets. Then you do a strength program. Sets of five, three to five repetitions. After that, you do a peaking program. That's for another video. I can talk about that forever. But that's the end of this video. Um, know your leverages. If you have shitty or good leverages. After that, gain weight. That's the most important thing for building your bench press. My bench press, over 315, you guys. Uh, paused in competition, 290, I believe. So it's all about body weight, you guys. Get your body weight up. Your bench press will get up. It's, it's as simple as that. If you keep your body weight the exact same, your bench press will stay the exact same. End of video. Peace. Sub.